Okay, what age is the best to adopt your hamster? How many hamsters have you had and what cages do you recommend? When are you gonna get into reptiles and what other hobbies do you have? And do you have a guess for what color is Rhino's favorite? And what is your dream job? If Rhino was a human, what would he be like? Surfer boy, sporty fella, gentleman, drama queen. Can robo hamsters be tamed completely? How often do you clean your cage? How long does hamsters take to tame in general? How did you convince your parents to get you a hamster? So this is a few hours later. Yeah, so I completely forgot to even check my community tab questions in the last video. So all of those questions I'm going to be answering in this video. My apologies. I just completely forgot to check in the last video. I completely forgot I even asked for questions on there, so I feel really stupid right now. So I'm going to go through and answer all your guys' questions like really informally. I don't feel like sitting down again, so we're just going to answer these questions as fast as possible, but as accurately as possible. The first question is from Cupcake Chef, and she asks, what age is the best to adopt your hamster? Every person is kind of different when they should or should not get a pet, but pretty much when you think that you're responsible enough to take care of an animal. Maybe if you have a dog at home and you're the one that takes it for walks, gives it food, things like that. If you think that you honestly have enough time to devote to having a small pet, go for it. I would say like age-wise, I would say like 10, 11 maybe but even at that age you might need some extra help from your parents because you kind of have to afford to like buy stuff. So if your parent is not willing to help you buy toys, bedding, shoes and things like that that might need to get replaced, then I would not get one until you can at least afford one yourself or vet bills and stuff. Next one is from Reese Millis and she asks, how old is Rhino? So I got Rhino in February and uh, if you haven't seen that video, pretty much he had been returned to the store uh, like that week and so he was in quarantine and so I think he's pretty young. I think he was young when he was there so I think that he is a, a little less than a year old. I would say he's maybe 10 months, 9 months or something around that. Maybe he could even be older than that but he is still very speedy, has so much energy still so I would say he's still pretty young. Nicholas Bloggs asks, when you first got Rhino, was he scared and ran into his hideouts all the time? Why did you name him Rhino? Uh, was he scared? He was definitely more uh, questioning of me. Like, I wouldn't say he was super scared, but he was definitely very timid. I definitely had to work really, really hard with him to get him to where he is at now with the taming. So, but I don't think that he ran into his hide every time I came in the cage. No, he was fine with me being in the cage. And why did I name him Rhino? I named him Rhino because of the movie Bolt. If you guys know what that is, it is a Disney movie and it has a hamster in there and its name is Rhino. And I had always kind of been joking for years that like if I got a hamster, I would name it Rhino. And so that's why I named it Rhino. And also because he looks like the hamster in the movie. And I think Rhino kind of has like a little lightning bolt on his forehead. So that is one of the reasons why I named Rhino Rhino or the reason really because that's like the only reason. Alyssa asks, how old am I? I am 15, I'm actually turning 16 next week. So I'm very excited about that. And she asks, when did I start making YouTube videos? I already said this, but about two years ago. And she says, love your content and love your cage cleaning videos. Thank you. I will definitely continue making those videos for you guys. Layla B asks, how many hamsters have you had and what cages do you recommend? I have had... So Rhino is my sixth hamster that I have had. And what cages do I recommend? I recommend the Detolf. It is a big storage cabinet from Ikea and it's glass and a lot of people use it as a hamster cage. I would also recommend DIY bin cages. Uh, just make sure that it is at least 105 to 110 quart bin cage. Those are really good and very inexpensive. 
So something like that, I don't really recommend wire cages at all because there's, I mean, there are some that do work, but I'm not sure of their names right now. Isaiah 757575S asks, when are you gonna get into reptiles and what other hobbies do you have? So reptiles, honestly, I'm not really a reptile person. I don't really see myself getting reptiles personally, even though I do think some of them are cute. I just, I'm not that type of person and I don't think I would feel comfortable like feeding live animals because I'm a vegetarian myself. So I just don't think I would get into that. And, and what are my other hobbies? So I actually run track in school when school was a thing. Am I right, fellers? Yeah, so I ran track. Sometimes I do tumbling. I used to do it like once a week. So I love to sew, as I'm sure you guys have probably seen from some of my videos. I love like crafting and DIYs. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I love editing videos and things like that. So those are kind of my hobbies. Jazz, old Harry. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. Um, what is your favorite color? It is blue. And do you have a guess for what color is Rhino's favorite? So Rhino, I have no idea. I see him as more of like an orange or red. Like I just think that his favorite color would be orange or red. I don't know. I've never even thought about that question before. So Persephone asks a few questions. So what was my favorite breed of hamster? I think I said Syrian. What was your first hamster? His name is Tinky. How many different breeds of hamster have you personally owned? I have had a two winter, three winter whites actually, uh, two Syrians and one Robo Dwarf. How long have you owned hamsters? I've owned them I think since 2013, maybe 2012 or 2014, so several years. And how old is Rhino? I think I just estimated like maybe 10 to 12 months. Have your past girl hamsters stunk? I've actually never had a girl hamster, so I have no idea. Jenna Dykstra, D-Y-K-S-T-R-A asks, what is the reason for starting YouTube? Honestly, the reason was I've always wanted to have like a face YouTube channel because I've had another past YouTube channel in the past. So I don't know, I've just always been into YouTube. I really like talking to the camera and I think it's so satisfying when you get to edit a video, it looks so good, you post it and then you get to see all the comments and what people think about it. And I just think it's really satisfying. And then of course the added benefit of you do get an, a little extra income because currently I'm not working. Um, I'm only 15 so I mean I don't really need a job right now but you know having some extra cash is always nice. And then okay so Sorrow829 asks, first she says I just want you to know that you are wonderful. Thank you so much. See, exactly, this is what I'm talking about. Or this wasn't a question, but she says, I rescue hamsters and you helped a lot. Thank you, my friend. Girl, you're welcome. This is the purpose of this channel. I guess you could say that was why I started this channel. RL Verwers asks, how did you convince your parents to get you a hamster? So I got my first hamster when I was little. So I had kind of been telling them that I wanted to get like a gerbil, I think it was that I wanted to get. And then one day, I don't even, it was kind of out of the blue. They were just like, hey, do you want to go get a pet today? And I was like, yeah. So me and my sister went and I got a hamster and she got a betta fish. And so they were kind of the ones that kind of initiated it. I was one that like asked first, but they are ultimately the ones that, that told me. And then after that, I just kind of kept wanting to get a hamster every time my hamster passed. So it's just kind of been something like that. And he also says, or she, I'm not sure, says, PS, love your vids and Rhino's so cute. Thank you. Uh, Rhino, it gets the most compliments, seriously. Uh, Jenna Dykstra, D-Y-K-S-T-R-A, asks, what treats are good for hamsters? I would say sunflower seeds, um, natural things, I don't really give Rhino a whole lot of processed treats like yogurt drops, I don't even own any, and things like that that are artificially colored, I would not suggest giving your hamster. But things like millet, mealworms, sunflower seeds, things like that, I would definitely suggest giving your hamster. Some people also feed their hamsters like dandelion stems, I think, so things like that. L. McEwen, I think I just said this. Also, um, 
he or she says, how long does it take for a hamster to develop a sleep schedule? I've been getting a lot of questions about this. Personally, I am not 100% sure, but every night try to make yourself a schedule. I think your hamster will adjust to you. So every night at about the same time, you should go in and start cleaning up the cage, interacting with your hamster, and if they're not awake, then maybe they will wake up for you when you start taking out the wheel and cleaning that, or just cleaning up the cage, picking up any little poops or sifting through the sand. You know, your hamster will hear that, and once your hamster starts to know that you bring treats, your hamster might wanna come out and take a treat from you, but personally, I don't know how long that really takes to develop a sleep schedule. Cupcake Chef asks, how long does hamsters take to tame in general? Well, in general, like obviously, like even she says, hamsters are different. Like I would say for the most hamsters, probably a month or two. Some might already be a little tamer, so you could probably tame them in like a week or so, or, like maybe two weeks. Um, but I think most hamsters probably a month to two months to rhino being even three or four months. Uh, just constant. Regina Life with Pets, she asks, is Rhino fully tamed? I would say yeah, I'd say he was, he's pretty fully tamed, as about as tamed as he's going to be. He's actually a big softy inside, I like, I know it, I know he's a big softy, so yeah, I would say he's fully tamed. I might still do another episode of The Taming Diaries, I really don't know yet though. Zara Im Imbrahim asks, how often do you play with Rhino? I play with Rhino like play with play with like take him out of the cage i try to do it like twice a week maybe more kind of depends but of course i always give him treats i hand feed him every night type things so if you consider that i would say every night but actually take him out of the cage i try to do it a few times a week back and chewy asks should you use a water bottle or a bowl Personally, I have both in my hamster's cage. In the smaller cage, I have a bottle, which is what Rhino uses the majority of the time, actually. And then in the larger cage, I have a bowl. So he can choose to use whichever. A lot of people are using more bowls now, so, you know, it's up to you. But personally, I don't have a preference. Sorry about this, if, like, the camera's shaking or something. I'm doing this very impromptu, but I'm trying to get all these answers for you guys. Kristen Berlin asks, how often do you clean your cage? I clean my cage, I'd say like every three to four weeks. However, the smaller cage, that's like for a full clean out. The smaller cage, I try to do like every two weeks because it does start to smell a lot way easier than the bigger cage did. So I have to do that like every week to every week and a half to two weeks. It just depends on the smell and if I'm like, okay, you know what, this needs a cage clean, then I obviously will clean the cage. Next question is from Velitrixer. I'm so sorry, I, I feel like I'm butchering all of these. But she says, one, what is your dream job? Uh, I've been asking that myself a lot. Like, I'm like, what do I want to do with my life? Um, personally, I want to help the environment. I'm a big, like, environmentalist type person. So I really want to either do something with environmental engineering or business, start starting my own business, something like that. Two, if you could have any more pets, what would it be? That is a hard one, actually. Any more pets? I kind of want to get a mouse or two. Uh, I just feel like they're very energetic and very sweet, so maybe a mouse, but I also kind of want to get a guinea pig, and at a time, I really wanted a bird. So, but I think if I had to get another animal right now, I guess I would say another hamster, not gonna lie. What is your nickname? My nickname is Nikki, actually, because I don't know if I've ever said this, but my real name is Nicole. So there's that. Some of my friends have different nicknames for me, but my nickname is Nikki. If Rhino was a human, what would he be like? Surfer boy, sporty fella, gentleman, drama queen, class clown. I think Rhino would be a mix between a sporty boy because he's always running and like, I can just see him like running track or something, you know what I mean? So yeah, either running track or like, but he can also dress up and get very formal. Does that make sense? Like sporty boy, but he can be formal when he wants to be. The next one 
Cupcake Chef asks, can robo hamsters be contained completely? Yes, they can. I have only ever had one robo hamster and he was a senior when I got him, so I really didn't have time to tame him. Not that I didn't have time, but he was kind of running out of time, if you know what I mean. Robo hamsters can 100% definitely be tamed, but some are definitely a lot scared and more timid than others. And the last question of the video is from wh.xl underscore nine, and he or she asks, could you answer why scented bedding is not safe? And someone else actually already kind of answered that. And it's because you can, it can cause respiratory infections. It's just better to get non-scented bedding in general. So yeah, that is it for the questions. I'm so glad I did not leave all of those out because those were some really, really good questions. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.